President Obama says he fully supports the decision to restrict over-the-counter sales of the Plan B emergency contraceptive to women under 17. The president says it's a question of safety, but supporters of reproductive rights see echoes of the Bush administration when they say politics trumped science. FSRN's Michael Lawson reports. The president invoked his concerns as a parent when affirming Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius' decision to override FDA approval of Plan B emergency contraception. As the father of two daughters, um, I think it is important for us to make sure that uh, you know, we apply some common sense to various rules when it comes to uh, over-the-counter medicine. Plan B one-step manufacturer Teva Pharmaceuticals had applied to expand the sale of its emergency contraceptive to all women of reproductive age without a prescription. FDA Commissioner Dr. Margaret Hamburg said Wednesday she was ready to approve that request based on, quote, science-based evidence. In an unprecedented move, Sibelius issued a memo overruling the agency's approval. Sibelius said Teva's application lacked evidence that girls as young as 11 would be able to understand how to use the drug responsibly. Jody Jacobson is editor-in-chief of RH Reality Check, a daily online publication on sexual and reproductive rights. She says only 1% of 11-year-old girls in the U.S. are capable of pregnancy. What we're doing is we're restricting access to a very safe and effective method based on a total red herring, and we're restricting it from those groups that are at highest risk. Jacobson says the decision that she calls shocking wasn't Sibelius' alone. This is a purely, purely political decision. I don't buy that the White House wasn't involved. I don't buy that they were worried about 11-year-old girls. It's completely a capitulation to the president's own political standing. The FDA first approved expansion of the drug's usage back in 2005. The American Pediatric Association endorsed its use the same year. President Bush struck down that approval. A federal judge ruled in 2009 that age limits were completely arbitrary and not based on science. Even adult women must show identification and request the drug from a pharmacist. Cindy Pearson, executive director of the National Women's Health Network, says both women's health advocates and the medical community support no age limits for emergency contraception. She says restricting access to the drug at all is an unfair singling out of women's reproductive abilities. We, like men, are one body. We're one person inside this body. We can't separate out our, our sexual natures and our reproductive experiences from our health. In a case that goes back a decade, the FDA is scheduled to discuss the agency's decisions on restricting the drug in the first place in a federal court next week. It is unclear what, if any, effect the case could have on the secretary's decision since it targets only the FDA. Michael Lawson, FSRN, Washington.